The first thing that you'll need in terms of getting a YouTube account is a Gmail account. You're going to need to set up a Gmail account if you don't already have one. So the easiest thing to do is to go to gmail.com and to set up an account. So I have one, a new one that I've created because all my other ones already have YouTube channels attached to them. So I actually had to create a whole new Gmail account in order to show you this training. So let me log in. One thing to keep in mind is that you want your Gmail account to be the same that's associated with your Google Plus account and the same that's associated with your YouTube account. This is going to be essential when you start doing Google Plus Hangouts. All of these three platforms have to be under the same Gmail account. So once you have your Gmail account, you can actually sign in to your YouTube account. So you're going to sign in right here by clicking that button and you're basically going to type in your email. This is the email that I selected. And your password. Once you're inside, you're going to be able to start uploading your videos. Now, one thing I want to show you that's changed quite dramatically from when I started on YouTube and I created my YouTube channels. All of my YouTube channels were under a keyword. Every single channel I've had was really to promote a specific business. And in such, I would name the channel based on a keyword. Things have changed and YouTube no longer allows that. One of the reasons is because everything is now linked to the Google Plus and, and technically you should be a person. So the only thing you could do really is to have a nickname. The nickname is not exactly the same as a keyword rich name, but it will have to do because that's all that you're allowed to get now on YouTube. Let me show you what I mean by a keyword rich channel. This channel here is a channel that I launched in June, May or June of 2012 and this was specifically created to create YouTube video tutorials. When I launched the channel there were there's absolutely nobody, no subscribers, no video views, nothing. And it hasn't been marketed. It has basically grown solely because of SEO and video SEO. So one of the things that I did is I did keyword research. And this keyword here, relaxed hair, was one of the keywords. It was really beneficial if I wanted to even have a chance of appearing at the top of search engines because this was already a very competitive niche this was a saturated niche on YouTube and I wanted to prove that I actually could get views, get subscribers and get my channel up there with the big girls who were already there before me. And that's why I selected this keyword. You can no longer do that on YouTube. And in fact, anybody who has an older YouTube channel, YouTube has, has been asking us if we wanted to use our real name, our real name associated with our Google Plus account. I have the option of saying to YouTube, no, I want to still keep using my channel name and I'll use another name on Google Plus. But it's not an option for you anymore. As you can see here, this channel is brand new and I specifically created it to show you this was not possible anymore. The only thing you could do is you can actually change your name by adding nicknames. So I'll show you how you can do that you are going to have to go into your profile and change your profile. When I click on the profile button, I land on my Google Plus account. Now, this again is for the purpose of this example and um, the Google Plus account has not been optimized, but obviously there's additional training showing you how to optimize a Google Plus account. This is very important. You have to optimize your YouTube account and your Gmail account now if you want to really rank. Now, 
when you it comes to changing your name and adding that nickname, you're going to hover over the name and you're just going to click on it and it's going to take you to a page. And as you can see, my first name uh, on the internet, my last name is Miss K. That's just the way it's been set up. And that's just the way people know me and that's what I keep consistently. So if I want to add a nickname, I would click on the More Options button and this will allow me to add a nickname. And I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to use Sunshine. So I've added Sunshine as my name. So here, YouTube or Google Plus is asking me, well, what, which name do I want to display? I could display the name that I've registered under, Kritia Miss K. And I can register, uh, or I can show, should I say, Kritia Miss K, Sunshine, Sunshine being the nickname, or Kritia, quote, Sunshine Miss K. These are the only options you have. Now, before, what I used to do when I set myself up on Gmail is the first name, and that's basically how I actually was able to set myself up for relaxed hair, is my first name was relaxed and my last name was hair. And I did try with another account to do it this way. And now YouTube has algorithms that are so sophisticated, they automatically are able to know if it's potentially a name or if it's actually a keyword. And if it is a word, and if you can't actually prove that that is actually your name, so I would have to prove that Relax Hair is my name, which obviously it's not, then they were going to tell you that you've got to use your real name. And the reason, again, is because everything is now linked to Google+. So now that you have that set up, you're going to have to decide um, if you want to use a nickname, if you don't want to use a nickname. And once you have that set up, it's going to appear here, and it's also going to appear on your YouTube channel. And I'm going to show you, as you can see here, although I'm on another channel, and go back here, so you can see I'm Kritia Miss K. And that's the way it's going to be. The whole channel is going to be built on that name. In the next video, I'll show you how to upload your first video. But this part here was uh, fairly important because you want to understand now that once you are signing up for a Gmail account, then that means that that name is going to appear on your Google Plus and also on your YouTube.